I'm a cookout in Calhoun, Georgia. Double burger plate with French fries, onion rings, French and all the way. yeah, diet coke. Anything else? A side order of a beef quesadillo. Okay, sir. Okay. All right, we got our food. Let's head back to the studios of Joe is Hungry. Welcome to the food laboratories and studio of Joe's Hungry located in the little town of Fairmount, Georgia. I'm kind of excited. 10 miles up the road in Calhoun, they just opened a cookout. I wanted to go over to Calhoun and check it out myself. Go through the drive through order something simple, and see how it turns out. I've eaten at these places before. Uh, when I'm driving out of state, it's always some place to stop that you know is open late and they usually cook their food fresh and they're reasonably priced. What I ordered today was something simple. I ordered a um, big double burger plate all the way with french fries and onion rings. And it also comes with a large drink. When you order it all the way, be careful because they're gonna upsell you on one item. And I'm not really sure which one that was because they don't bother itemizing their tickets. This $4.99 special actually set me back $6.86 plus tax. Ugh. Diet Coke. Here's our tray. It's got some heft to it. You get a hamburger or different versions of hamburger. You can get a double or a single, but you get two side orders. And so I got two side orders. I got one French fries and one onion rings, and then I got my burger, which is wrapped in foil, which is kind of nice. Let's unwrap the burger and take a look at it. I don't think the bread's toasted. You can see the... I can smell the onions, I can smell the, the cooked hamburger, they've got cheese on it. Maybe that's what they upcharged me with on the um, when I got it all the way. This is what it's looking like from the outside. Take another look, here's your sandwich. That's what it looks like. I don't have a photograph to compare it to because they don't have any photographs of their food on their website. Their website's pretty plain Jane. It just has the menu and a couple historical things, no pricing, so you really can't tell. So I don't really have anything I can compare it to to see if it lives up to their advertisements, um, which is probably a good thing because like Burger King and some of the other places that put up airbrushed images that don't resemble their food whatsoever, that's kind of misleading. There's nothing misleading here. Here's a cross section. This is what it looks like. You can see the two hamburgers. You can see the pickles. Nothing really bad I can say about this sandwich at all, can I now? Why don't we go ahead and put it on the scales and just see how much it weighs just out of curiosity. Let's take this sandwich and place it on the scales. We can see that this sandwich weighs in at 8.5 ounces. 8.5 ounces. All right, I'd just like to stop here for one second and make a note. I put these weights on the hamburgers up here as simply as a reference, just to let you know in relation how much they weigh to other hamburgers. The ones that I've listed are all double burgers and they all run from between five and seven and a half dollars a piece by themselves. Cookout, on the other hand, this hamburger plus two sides and a large soda runs $4.99. That's if you don't get hooked on the upcharge on the toppings which to me is a much greater value. Anyway, let's move on with the video. Without further ado, let's go ahead and engage in the Joe Bite Test. Not a bad sandwich, has a really good taste. There's plenty of meat. The uh, condiments are fresh, crispy, and cool, which uh, contrasts very well with the uh, freshly cooked hamburger. The bun 
Probably would have been better off if it was toasted. If it's toasted, I can't tell. They have plenty of pickles. No shortage of pickles at all on that. Probably could have used two slices of cheese, but I guess since we're only selling it for $4.99 plus, plus whatever upcharge they can sneak in there. About only fault I like to say I can pick with this hamburger is needs a little more seasoning, could use a little more cheese, and they could have toasted the bread because after a while the bread starts to melt from the uh, liquid in the sandwich. Okay, I guess it's time to score it. I'm gonna give this sandwich, because of its value, I'm gonna give it at 8.3. That's actually a pretty good score. If they'd have toasted the bread or used a little bit more solid bread, we'd have gone a little bit higher. Uh, the onion rings are great. Uh, they were cooked fresh. Everything would burn my hands when I first ordered them. I didn't like the fact that they upcharged me for all the way without telling me, because there's really no apparent prices for that anywhere that I can see. French fries are fresh, they're regular old French fries. Definitely under seasoned. They didn't put any salt at all on them. As a note, yesterday I went through there as a dry run to kind of pre-plan my video. Sometimes I'll go through and get the food just so I can be familiar with it. Um, yesterday they put about uh, two metric tons of ice in my drink so I got about six slurps out of my cup before I started hitting air. That was a bad one. But today wasn't the case. I have the appropriate amount of soda in my cup. I'm still drinking my Diet Coke. That's pretty much the review. I appreciate you taking time to watch. Hopefully you found this interesting. Support the channel. Subscribe to the channel. And we will see you in the next video. Something about the way it goes on. Yeah, can I get a big double burger plate with the french fried and onion rings again? And a large... All the way. All the way. They actually have a double drive through with two separate drive through lanes that are independent of each other. They don't funnel into each other and create a traffic jam like you often see at Chick fil A. Okay, we're at the remote locations of Joe is Hungry. I'm in the parking lot of cookout in Calhoun, Georgia. Feel like my mind is congested with shit. I this is basically a flour tortilla thrown on the grill with some cheese and some beef placed in it. So the quesadilla has a nice flavor. I like flour tortillas, but it's kind of lacking in the ingredients a little bit. It's a little bit on the light side. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on with the Joe bite test. I would probably call it about a 6.9. I think you can do better in other places. If you found this interesting, if you found this mildly useful, support the channel and I will see you in the next video. Everything they took from me. Look at how they look at me. Look at how I look at you. Drown all my problems in this bottle full of pain. Pour it down my frame like I am not ashamed. I know I'm not insane, but I tend to lose my brain. I tend to lose myself in the pool for you. I drown.